you can keep, but I thought you were saying wrap it up, so. <laughs> uh, we should talk about Sony. Yeah. Right? Because huge, huge Sony developments. Big news this week. Paul's just back from Tokyo. You were in yeah, Japan? You were, well, how, how long ago were you in Japan? Just a few moments ago. I have no idea. I really have to stop <laughs> keeping track of time. Like 10 minutes ago, you flew, you flew in, you yeah, were in exactly, the suit, exactly. and you went sliding into I the was venue. Officially, my trip was 72 hours in total. You mean round trip? Yeah. I got on a plane. So you're in the, Japan you're in because we just we heard of this event and it would sound like it was a Sony. They call it a business meeting, Sony business meeting in Tokyo, mostly Japanese press. They only had a few seats for for the U.S. It's like you know what would they possibly announce at a business meeting for mostly Japanese press? Turns out the, <laughs> the, next, <laughs> the next PlayStation, PlayStation Portable, portable yeah. Uh, and uh, so you saw it firsthand. Yeah. You touched it. Yeah, I touched the non-working unit, but it was the same weight. It's huge. It's really gigantic. Like, how big? PSG Show size. us. Is it like this? It's a, a PSU. It was this it's, big. <laughs> and you like, have to play it like this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those burritos we dare you to eat. I guess this looks less. <laughs> I know it's funny. I was like, this must look ridiculous. But it looks less ridiculous than if people have iPads. It just looks like a Yeah, yeah. What if it was this big? <laughs> Okay, anyhow. No, it's, it's, it is very extreme, but it, yeah, it's a five-inch screen, the current PSP is four inches, and it's four times the resolution of the PSP screen. Uh, so it basically makes it taller. It's like 944 by 560. So it's lower than the iPhone 4 resolution? It's very similar to the iPhone Lame. <laughs> uh, and they, they have it's dual analog log sticks, and they actually have a like a redesign. Instead of sort of sliding around, they are actually tilting analog sticks. Which I, I don't know. I need a lot more time with it to really. Yeah, no, 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 no. really but there's uh, a touch. It's got a touch screen, and then the back is like a mapped touch area. Yes, this I'm so excited. I, I was talking about this. Remember CS two the two thousand nine Synaptics showed off this phone with a touch screen back. And I was like, this is for gaming. This is such a good idea. And they're doing it. The whole Is it a good idea? I think it's a great well, idea. Well, so what's happening video? back there? What do you, you well, how are you? So they showed, I they showed a few it. demos. <laughs> 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 idea of what you would use a, a, a back touchscreen for was a phone you don't have physical controls on as analog controls. Analog, the analog stick so that you're not covering up the screen. Some of the stuff shown, so, showed was um, like a hand over hand, uh, like Nathan Drake climbing a vine, like doing hand over hand how do you in the back. it screen. when you're doing it? I mean, like, I watched the demo of the guy like playing it and he was like holding it like this and like doing this crazy stuff. Well, and, and that was another one. They've got this this game called Little Deviants, where you you move your. <laughs> Whoa. It's a cool game. Let's move on. Cool. Game. <laughs> you move your finger around in the back. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. 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 I was gonna keep on going. You move your finger around. Please take your children out to the stream if you're watching it. Uh. And it like creates a hill. In the game world, and so you're moving the dudes around the hill. But then if you. Ooh. <laughs> you know how to make that dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I don't know. I'm just telling you what a video game It looks innocent, I guess. But two dudes in a but, hill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the pitch thing is you're using. <laughs> hey. so, uh, Steve Wozniak, you know, yeah. have a mature Touching. conversation with yeah. like, Steve Wozniak. So, did it seem like it was working or not? Yeah, I, I, I think it's going to take a lot of developer experimentation. I think the good news is that it's a handheld platform. The games are cheaper to develop than like a full-on move or connect title. But you can play so like I think PS1 it's, games too, right? You can play uh, PS1 games. I'm sure you'll be able to download and play a PSP game. What about PS2? Uh, and it's it's almost as powerful as the PS3 graphics wise. They're showing basically they showed one game where where all the um, all the shaders and all the effects and stuff were, were straight from the PSP version of is like um, Lost PS3. Well, the PS3 yeah, and Lost Planet uh, 2. But the 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 just the polygons of the actual models were lower. And then they also showed a cutscene <laughs> from Metal Gear Solid, which. He, he it didn't make any sense. No, it made no sense. Any sense. There's a little guy, and it was smoky, and there's a robot. Uh -oh. oh, so it's just a regular cutscene. That's like 90% of the memory. It's a little guy smoking a robot. But they took, they took those graphics exactly from the PS3 and were rendering them on the, uh, the NGP, which is what they're calling it. 
at 20 frames per second. Dude, so that's why they're powerful. calling it the NGP, by the way. It seems very cool. I, th I, I think, think it's on the NPG. And then I would, like, Prince is yeah, back in band. Okay, this is a bad joke. What's going on? I think, I think, I think PSP2 is too many syllables. Because at least PS3, you know, but PlayStation Portable 2, I mean, they're not really calling it that's the, a lot. They're not really calling it... That's a, like, they're not actually license. calling it the NGP, though. That's just... No, like, it, it is a code name. It is but I'm saying it's very cool. Because what are they going to call it? Like... They're going to call it the PSP2. What else can they, they call it? PlayStation Touch. Oh, I think it's good. That's terrible. They would never call it. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's think about the touch board. Let's think about the touch board. Let's think about the naming conventions. Nope. Eye toy, right? Yeah. Move. Yeah. Curiosity. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they'll misspell the word touch. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so that wasn't the only piece of news, though. It wasn't just the uh, new power generation. It was also PlayStation uh, Suite. PlayStation Suite, which is very exciting, but also, I don't want to brag, but we did have a rumor about this that we wrote about. Yeah, I and actually, we were right. Take that, world. I refuse to clap that. We yeah. totally have the rumor, though. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to convince you, right? <laughs> you're reading, we'll send you the back link. <laughs> it's, it's there. No, but uh, no, but we've been talking. We've been talking about this, this, the whole like Android. Play I mean, obviously, we've been talking about uh, the PlayStation phone, right? And this PlayStation Suite is seems like part of this whole deal. Well, and we've heard basically they're going to be running. So you say what it is? PlayStation Suite is a is a software platform for Android phones, and Sony's going to be licensing it out to other manufacturers of Android phones. And who knows? Maybe so they're making their own. So phone. trip on this wild thought, okay? <laughs> Uh, and it plays right, right now. <laughs> jam on this thought. Right now, you, plays, you can buy a Samsung device. Right. right. It has to be certified. Whatever. You can buy a Samsung device <laughs> with the PlayStation Suite on it, and you can play like PS1 games on right. it. And Officially on games, your Samsung. But then also new games that will be developed. Right. So this is like the Android gaming solution. Yeah. Is it though? I mean, is Google? They're not involved at all. Yeah, they've been talking with Google. Oh, they have. Yeah. Google's like, this sounds interesting. Our games suck right now. Well, that's true. It's going to be. Well, come on. I mean, there's not that many. I'm sure Google has, it has its hand in other gaming pies, but I'm sure this sure, is, it uh, would be Google. So many pies. So many pies. Like, but like, but like, I think this, buzz for, I think buzz this is a big play for them. I just didn't think Sony would open it up. I just we, figured we, we, we Sony would the just podcast and it would seem like a wild fantasy. Well, yeah. I don't I mean. They're opening up. They have to certify the devices. So I and think we'll see. I think they'll be very selective. And, 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 and do they need to be devices with buttons? Like they haven't said. They, they won't say. And the overlay they showed the PS One controller overlay. Like right. this is just a prototype. Just a demo. But because I mean, I mean that looks insane. Like to put every button from a PlayStation controller on a touch screen. Well, I'm like, saying, like, yeah, how are you pressing R two? You need that. You need that back. Yeah. 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 Uh, but, okay. but, uh, There's nothing more terrifying than your boss looking at you. But are they saying, <laughs> are they saying, are they saying that if I'm Samsung, I can produce a phone with the PlayStation layout and use it, I use this so. software? Like, that's, that's like the, where they're hinting. Say. But I, don't, I think they're going to reserve that for themselves and say, we can run these games. What's to stop somebody from making a device well, that that's exactly makes like a PS3 control? Of, Right. No, no, right. They don't have to. They don't have to call it a PlayStation. Well, if you're Sony right now. You get like on the regular console. You get most of your money from selling licenses to make the games, right? You get a cut of every game. Yes, that's true. Um, so it behooves them to just uh, have, yeah, have it as large as possible. All right, you've convinced me. I'm going to do it. Yes. But, but what, <laughs> what if <laughs> Sony thought about making their own? Phone? What if Sony this, created that would also? What if they created a device that was like a, a PlayStation portable, but also had a phone component? Allow well, me to reach for my Oh, those are my sunglasses. Okay, that's a huge pocket. <laughs> no, that's not. Oh, come on. <laughs> Steve was yeah, probably. Yeah, like Steve would have been able to get it right out. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. 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 What was that? Oh. Oh. That's awesome. It doesn't exist. It doesn't, it doesn't exist no matter what you hear. It is not a Sony Ericsson with a PlayStation controller attached to it. Uh, I don't know if you saw this, we, we got a hold of one of these, as, as you can tell by the fact that it's in my hand right now. And, uh, and oh, isn't this cute? You've loaded up some... I have, that's, so... That's cute, okay. Do we have a handle? put a piece of software on here that, yeah, he's really excited about. He oh, yeah, well, with, oh, he wants to share with everybody. You want this? <laughs> so, it's, this is, like, very, very prototype. Richard Lai, uh, who's uh, one of our editors. This, uh, it's not going to work, but... 
It's not going to work? Yeah, it's very prototype. We wanted to show you guys some stuff. <laughs> the headphone jack doesn't work, and the Wi-Fi doesn't work. So um, you can see it here. Uh, it's, here's the slide. The slide actually feels really good. Uh, it's a little, there's a little rattle to it. It is a little, but yeah. it's a prototype. Obviously, it's got PlayStation buttons. It's got these crazy flippers on the back. They feel really strange. I think those are actually called flippers. What are they? Shoulder buttons. Shoulder flippers. <laughs> shoulder pads. They're called shoulder pads. What's the what's the name for the uh, the buttons on the corners? Bumpers. Bumpers. Flippers. Flippers. Bumpers. Yeah, I think that's right. Anyway, so when you open it up, it loads up uh, this app called PlayStation Pocket, which uh, you know this is a very prototype phone. This doesn't really work for well. Yeah, do, so, we, do we think that that's going to be? Well, we can do. We loaded up the uh, the PSX for Droid emulator here, and we can play Street Fighter. <laughs> So, so we're running. This is software emulation. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is like this is slow. It's but you can get now. You can kind of get maybe what it's like when yeah. it's actually happened.